Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. And for today's video, we have something quite different. We have the gimbal lasers. Now, these things are very unique and they fit the Space Engineers aesthetics very, very well. So these are little point defense laser systems. They're not very strong. They take a lot of time to actually deal damage, but they are very, very cool. So the actual laser things are sitting on these little towers the towers can rotate, the balls can rotate, and they come in three different things. So the one in front of us is the standard gimbal laser. It's just a little ball here, which can, you can turn around and there's nothing fancy. We then have the armored slanted one, which is the same as that one, except it has an armored slant block, which can allow you to do this on like your ship or something. So it'd be more like a broadside cannon on your ship. You'd have this facing on your side. So then when you turn about into your enemy, you can shoot the lasers coming off the sides. And the last one is a heavily armoured flush block. So it's basically just a flat square block, but the little ball is inside it. But the only problem with these types of lasers is they can only shoot in a generally an upwards direction. They can't really sh like tilt down or do anything like that. And for example, here's the gimbal laser in a nice flush side bit. So if you want something on top of your ship, this would be ideal. So the lasers themselves are quite limited in where they can aim and they're not very powerful which is very surprising for a workshop weapon because usually they are exceptionally overpowered. Now I have this gimbal laser sitting on the side here just to give you a little demonstration. So if I hop into my control seat, bring up this and take control. So here we go. This is my limited range of view. Yes, the camera is very fiddly. There's nothing I can do about it. It's flipping upside down and all that. That's just how it works. If I want to look to my left, it's going to flip the camera over there, and if I want to go to my right, it's going to flip like that. But the laser itself, you can zoom in and out as much as you want. Well, there is a limit. That's the absolute limit. Quite a distance. But the laser itself, can it hit? Yes, it can. It can hit that range. The range is exceptionally long, by the way. It can go up to a thousand meters, but there is a bug currently where the lasers will not openly fire if you set it to automatically fire until you get to about 300 meters. So if I just hop out of it before I actually fire, just to kind of show you, oop, 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 here we go. So I bring down my gimbal laser over here. This is what you can do with it. So you can make it target the meteors, which is very useful. These are generally perfect for a base to like get rid of meteors coming over. You can get it to target missiles, small ships, large ships, stations, neutral targets, even characters, and of course your wolves and all that. So they do have a range of things. In terms of meteor defense, they would be great if you have a cluster of them because they take a long time to actually deal damage. And I'll show you that right now. So if I get in control here and zoom in on my lovely pink ship that I made, I want to take off this thruster. So if I press my left or right mouse button, you will, I'll shoot a laser. The laser does not go where you're aiming, by the way. That is a bug. Of course, this is a, like very early access for this mod. Lots of particle effects. So if you have a very weak graphics card, this could tank you. But yeah, as you can see, I am hitting it. It is dealing damage slowly, but the law behind it is it deals damage via heat. So the longer the beam is on something, the hotter it gets, and the more damage the laser will deal to it. So I'm going to leave it running here, just to show you how long it takes me to kill a large atmospheric thruster. Just take it off. So there are a few things with these lasers that you should know. As I said, it's in very like early access for this mod. There are lots of things that are planned to be added, like each of these gimbal lasers underneath them, they have a little expansion slot, but there's nothing currently to put in them. Later on, the developer is going to add in things like reduce energy, more damage, like faster heating up and all that. But for the moment, we only have the three little turrets. Now it's starting to get there. I can tell you that because I tested it on the little miner that usually attaches onto this little modular ship I made. Because it's like a little ship where it has a drill head, it has a welding head and all that. Yeah, it will eventually break up. I promise you, it will break off. There we go. So it's finally like came off. It took a good, it's almost a minute it felt like. I will have to double check that. But yeah, the laser beam, as you can see there, it did damage. It looks like it damaged the back thruster as well. Something that I was not aware of. So if I get this, no it did not. So it literally took that amount of time to destroy one block, which was a large atmospheric thruster. So one thing I'm going to test is, just to show you, is if I now change these, let me bring up my control panel, 
all this and transfer the ownership to Space Pirates. First, let me just make sure the gimbal lasers all attack characters. There we go. And now I want to transfer them all to Pirates. Yes, please. So now the lasers should attempt to attack me. Oh, it's going to attack my ship instead. So if I now hop into my ship, turn on the power and raise up. As you can see, the laser is coming after me. So it's more like a deterrent laser than it is a damaging laser. It's going to aim for the small reactors underneath me, but hopefully these things will start attacking. Here they go. It might be a lack of power, but yeah, as you see, it's nothing too dangerous if you're flying over a base and they have these. It's more or less like move away or you will get damaged because you can easily just outrun these. If I just fly away now. There we go. I'm now out of range. It didn't do much damage for me, but I know that if I stay in that area, I'm going to take a lot of damage. Another small problem with these gimbal lasers is they are exceptionally weak. I originally was recording this video with drones turned on to try and show you how they would like to fend against these types of things, but the drone just ripped them to shreds. So they are meant to basically complement your actual defense systems like a missile turret or machine guns. They like really and truly like I said before they're more broadside cannons type things as in you'd have your main missiles you have your machine guns on your ship but then you'd have these located somewhere on them so if anyone gets too close to you they will start like pinging a beam over to them basically telling them to sod off or you're gonna die but yeah this is the gimbal lasers they'll be in the description below if you want to download them yourself and I'll be back with another video some point soon bye bye